about a year ago, about 11 months ago, we, we had a conversation about race. Myself, Pastor Sarah, Nigel Sims from City Life, was he, we're here, was here, and we, um, we talked about race. We talked about some things that, that, um, that not, it's not like we started the conversation necessarily because First Assembly has had, you know, um, conversations about race. But it's easy, and you know this in your own life, it's easy to look back a year later after something and think, man, did, did, did I do anything with that? Did I, you know, did I, did I keep to that diet? Did, did I reach the people and talk to people I was going to talk to? Did I read all the books that I said I was going to read at the beginning of the year? You guys remember me making that commitment? So then you begin to forget as you get older, right? <laughs> so we're talking about race. And we look back, and as we look back over this year, you know, we began to analyze, man, have we been doing, have we been taking steps to have this conversation consistently? We wanted to a year ago. And as we began to talk and look at things, we're like, yes, we have been doing, we have been doing this. Now, is there always room for improvement? Yes, there's always room for improvement. But will you go, just go over the last year with me? And so I, and let, let me share a few things with you that we have done that we are very happy with. This, um, you know, we know race, it, there's a kingdom value um, in, in race. You know, God made us all and he chose your race. He chose the pigment of your skin. And I'm just going to take a, a moment here and update us. Um, First Assembly has had a long-standing relationship with Smith Academy. And in 2019, uh, right around Christmas, we talked with uh, the principal, Corey Smith, uh, who has a passion for racial reconciliation. And we intentionally increased our partnership with Smith Academy. And actually, in our attempt to, to reach people here, near, and far, it's, it's awesome to know that right, right here in Fort Wayne, um, uh, Smith Academy is our biggest project. We give more to that ministry than any other ministry um, that we give missions wise. So I'm like, praise God. So we're not just talking about it, we're doing it. We're helping them and re we're helping resource them. And we're, we're connected with projects. Um, and you can be a part of what's happening with Smith Academy, as Sarah said, Pastor Sarah said in the uh, video announcements there with Serve 2020. We believe that this is a spiritual battle. Let's remember that the battle isn't the person sitting next to us, okay? It's always a principality, a spiritual force in this world, in this dark, dark world. It's something beyond what we even see. And we believe that race, this, this, um, this racism that we're trying to tackle here, we believe that this is a spiritual battle and our greatest weapon. You know what your, your, your weapon against the enemy is? Prayer. Always be a person of prayer. During the protest, we walked the streets of Southeast Fort Wayne in a citywide prayer walk with some 300 people, lots of pastors and, and leaders from the community, and we just walked the city streets praying together, worshiping together. Um, we've regularly used our Sunday service prayer time to address current uh, events, praying for repentance, peace, and healing in our church first, okay? In our body first, then in our city, and then in our nation. We decided... Uh, or we dedicated part of our um, 21 days of prayer in August to uh, praying about racial reconciliation and for unity. We believe we have a responsibility. Everybody say responsibility. That means you have a part and I have a part. We are responsible. We have a responsibility to be an active part of our community. We've taken time to sit down one-on-one -on -one with community leaders um, I had opportunity, like I said, a couple months back to sit down with the mayor. He gave me a few names of people who are doing some works in the community. And then I went and visited them, and then they gave me some more names. And I've connected with some fantastic people. Well, Pastor Luther Whitfield's a part of that organization as well. I had opportunity to meet with him and his, uh, his church, the New Covenant Church. We got to visit the Impact Center. Nigel Sims, City Life, we've connected with him. And City Life is one of our Serve 2020 projects as well. So you can get online if you want to sign up to be with Nigel and the team um, Dr. Sheila Cuffey it has a group, a lift group here that we just started a week ago. So if you want to jump in, it's not too late. Just start it. Be, a, be the bridge. Like what a great, what a great title of a group when you're talking about racial reconciliation. Be the bridge. Be the bridge. So you can join them in room 45. We believe race is not a problem to be solved, but a kingdom asset to protect, to value, and embrace. We are different from one another. God created you different on purpose. So let's value that. Um, in May, June, and July, I challenged our congregation in our Friday updates and emails. We did some Facebook live um, watch parties, you know, because, I mean, it's what was going on in our world. And we see that, we see that there were, uh, some people say, all this just happened. And I'm like, no, it's just been under the surface and the volcano exploded is what happened. 
And now we've got the fallout that we have to deal with. And if we don't deal with it right, you know what's going to happen? It's going to build up again and it's going to blow up again. So we, we, just, we need to take these things head on and we need to do our part. We've intentionally begun to weave into the fabric of our messages um, comments and talking about diversity and race and unity because it's woven into the, fa- uh, the fabric of Scripture. We've created a kingdom diversity playlist on YouTube. And we've taken all these talks that we've had over the last year or so Um, these messages, these videos that we've had, and we've put them in one place. So if you want to go watch them, you can go to our our, our YouTube page and you can click that playlist. Um, Lastly, we believe that until Jesus comes, we still have work to do. We're not going to sit on our laurels and say, hey, we had a great year, guys. Right on. Next year we're going to take the year off, you know. No, you don't have to talk about race anymore. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. We want to we wanna look back and see what we've done, and we want to keep moving forward. We want to get better, and we want to make a bigger, a bigger impact. But we need you. Back to that word responsibility. We want to become more active in the community, and we need you to become champions of unity as representatives of this body. We want you to be a champion of unity. Every opportunity you have, think unity. Every opportunity where there can be offense, think unity. Anytime you get angry over a social issue, I want to encourage you to think unity.